Hello my dear lovely students once again a very warm welcome to this class so hope all my buddies are doing great this is a session number 3 of your chapter structural organization in animals now in the structural organization in animal one of that major topic that is the epithelial tissues is completed now we will be talking about the another type of tissues so let's have a look so yes topics to be covered guys here today we will be talking about the connective tissues right connective tissues in detail how these connective tissue work what are the different type of connective tissue that we will be looking at but before talking about the connective tissue i have to talk about the cell to cell junction okay so let's start a very small topic is left which is a cell to cell junction cell to cell junctions cell to cell junctions now what are these cell to cell junctions cell to cell junctions are those junction which basically helps in communication right they basically helps in communication now what do we mean by communication communication means that means either they will keep the cells together they help in transport of molecules etc and etc right so what is a function it helps in cell to cell communications right cell to cell communication and what is the another function another function is that that these keeps the cell together keeps the cells together right it helps in adherence of the cell now to talk about these cell to cell junction or cell junctions now basically they are present in epithelial tissue present in epithelial tissue <coughs> sorry epithelial tissues right epithelial tissue and sometime in muscular and nervous tissue sometime in muscular and nervous tissue like i told you we are only restricting to your ncrt like what ever things are there in the ncrt we are just talking about it so let's have a look now let's talk about the types types now the first one we have is the tight junction tight junctions so first of all we have is tight junction second we have is the adherence junction adherence junction now the third one we have is the gap junction these are the three type of junctions which are there in your ncrt clear now to talk about the tight junction what is the function of the tight junction tight junction keeps the cell together so it holds the cell together it doesn't allow the movement so it restricts the movement right so basically they prevent the cell from leakage cell from leakage right what do they do they prevent the cell from leakage it will not allow a leakage there should not be a leakage right so they are present very much tied to each other for example this is one cell and like this another cell is present right this is one cell and this is termed as the tight junction what is this this is a tight junction 
This is a tight junction. Let's talk about the adherence junction. Adherence junction are those junction which keeps the cell at a particular place. That means it adheres the cell. The cell. Right? It adheres the cell. Adheres. That means it keeps the cell together. Now, how does they look like? Now, suppose this is a cell number one, buddies. This is a cell number two. Right? No, they will be adhered. This is a one protein. This is another protein. Adherence proteins are there. And this is how they are attached. Right? So, it keeps the cell together. So, this is termed as adherence junction. Adherence junction. Now let's talk about the third one which is a gap junction. So gap junction is the one which helps in the transport of molecules. Transport of ions, small molecules, including some small proteins also. Right? So, their transport is because of the gap junction. Now, would you like to have a look how these gap junctions look like? See, these are the two cells, right? And this is how the communication happens, right? And with the help of these junctions, these molecules, they move from one cell to another and another cell to these cells. Now, this is termed as a gap junction. This is termed as the gap junction. Gap junction. Clear everyone? Cell to cell junction, cell to cell communication. Hope it is clear. Cell junction. What are their function? Examples. Everything we have done. Clear? We started with the tight junction. Then the adherence junction. See from name itself guys you can derive that these are the junctions present and their functions. And this topic is super important. For your NEET examination buddies it is important and this can be asked in a uh, uh, like uh, we have to match it. Some functions will be given and on another side the name of the junction will be given. Hope it is clear. Now let's proceed towards to, uh, towards another uh, very important topic which is a connective tissue. So now let's derive the meaning of this uh, tissue, connective tissue. So connective tissue is a type of tissue which connects, right? That means it holds everything together. So it provides support, it provides strength. to body tissues right basically basically what does it do what is their function that it it helps in connection helps in connection Right? It holds everything together. Connective tissue. In fact, when we talk about the bone, bone is also a connective tissue. When we talk about your uh, cartilage and cartilages, the tendons, etc., everything, they are what? They are your connective tissues only. In fact, below this uh, skin layer, you will find a type of connective tissue, which is your areolar connective tissue. We have the fat storing connective tissue, which is adipose connective tissue. So, all these are connective tissue. So, to talk about, so, so among all all the tissues which are present in the body, this is the most abundant tissue. So this is very important line, most abundant, most abundant. Now if someone asks you which is the most abundant tissue, you should know that it is a connective tissue. What is it? It is a connective tissue. Hope it is clear, right? It supports, it uh, etc. Now let's talk about its composition. <coughs> In a very short way, I'll make sure all the points related to this topic should be clear to you. Composition. That means what all things are present in this. Guys, have you ever seen a sea? Have you ever heard or you must have heard about a sea? So here, guys, I am talking about sea right some part right just imagine though it look like a pond but it's okay so in the sea what you will find is a water right what you will find is some uh, water right 
Now, here in the in the sea, what you will find? Some fishes are there. Some fishes are there. Right? So these are the fishes present. Fish is present. Similarly, you will find here some tree logs also. Some logs, some fiber like things are present. So these are the tree logs or fibers. Let's say tree logs. Similarly, when we talk about the connective tissue composition, it is like the same. Same. Fishes means some cells, they will be present. Some water or a liquid substance is present. Some matrix is present. Also, some fibers are present. So, to talk about the composition, just like that of a, uh, 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 just like that of a C, right? This is the example of a C which I have given you. So, what do we have is some cells, right? And some extracellular. Other than that, the extracellular matrix is present. Extra cellular matrix is present. Please understand this topic because this is super important. Super important because this is the most abundant body tissue. <coughs> now let's see what type of cells they are present in it. Now in this case different type of cells they will be present. For example the mast cell. You will find some mast cells are there. You will find some macrophages are there macrophages right you will find some fibroblast cell fibroblast cell so all these type of cells you're going to find in this c right in this c right right other cells are also present like mesenchymal cells basophils etc so various cells etc now, let's talk about the extracellular. That means other than cell, what all things are present in the sea, you will find some water is there and some fiber-like structures are there. So, itself, that, that means this is composed of two different things. One is termed as the matrix. One is termed as a matrix and second is termed as the fibers. Fibers. Now, let's talk about each of these one by one. So, matrix, that means it's the ground substance which is present. And ground substance is GAG, glucosamine glycan, right? So, for example, the GAG, that is glucosamine glycan, mucopolysaccharide. Right? It's a mucopolysaccharide and the most abundant matrix which is present in the animal world that is hyaluronic acid. Right? And that is hyaluronic acid. And what is this? This is the most abundant matrix. Most abundant matrix. Right? So, matrix is done. Now, let's talk about the fibers. Like what kinds of fibers they are present in it. In this case, you will find collagen. You will find collagen. Right? Some elastin, yellow elastin. And some reticulate fibers also you are going to see reticulate fiber. So, collagens, you know the collagens, they are what? They are the white collagen fiber. And this is the yellow elastin fibers will be present and some thin collagen like reticular fibers, they are present. So, all these things you are going to see in a connective tissue. So, I told you where are you going to find the connective tissue? Everywhere guys, everywhere, widely distributed amongst the uh, complex animals like that of uh, us. So, the collagens, the elastin, the reticular fibers, everything you are going to see over here. Clear? Hope it is clear till now. Now, let's proceed further. Now, <clears throat> let's talk about types of connective tissues. Types of 
connective tissue types of connective tissue so like this we have various types of connective tissue let's discuss each of them so we classify these connective tissue in following categories we basically divide into three different categories we will be looking at each of this just have some patience i'll make sure that this concept is uh, clear to you so first of all buddies what do we have is the loose connective tissue loose connective tissue loose connective tissue second we have is the dense connective tissue dense connective tissue next we have is specialized connective tissue specialized connective tissue now let's further divide now loose connective tissue itself is of two different type right two different type first one we have is areolar connective tissue areolar connective tissue second one we have is adipose connective tissue here also it's further of two type dense regular connective tissue dense regular connective tissue and the second one we have is dense irregular connective tissue irregular connective tissues here in the specialized connective tissue we have fluid connective tissue as well as skeletal connective tissue skeleton connective tissue and some fluid connective tissue so in the skeleton we have an example of your bone the cartilage bone and cartilage here in the fluid connective tissue we have an example of blood we have an example of lymph clear now areolar connective tissue adipose dense regular in the dense regular so various types are there so this this chart is clear we will be talking about each one of these one by one so first of all we are going to start with the loose connective tissue <clears throat> so in the loose first of all let's talk about the areolar connective tissue areolar connective tissue so areolar connective tissue are the tissues which fills the areola areola means empty spaces so this is the one which fills the empty spaces between between organs and body tissues and body tissue so they basically act as an absorber the shock absorber right this is a areolar connective tissue now in the areolar connective tissue further when we saw, talk about it that what all things are present so let's understand the areolar connective tissue with the help of this diagram 
This is a diagram from your NCRT only which I am drawing right now. That means what all things you are going to find when we talk about the areolar connective tissue. So in the areolar connective tissue you will find some white fibers are there and you know the white fibers they are what? They are your collagen fibers. Right? Like this collagen fibers are there and these collagen fibers they are formed by these fibroblasts. <coughs> So let's label simultaneously. You will find the fibro. This is a, this is one fibroblast cell, right? And it forms the yellow collagen fiber. Sorry, white collagen fiber. White collagen. Fiber, white collagen fiber will also be there. Other than that, you will find some reticulate fiber. This red color which I am making right now, these are what? These are the some reticulate fiber. Reticular fiber will also be there. Other than that, like I told you, some yellow fibers are also present. And what are these yellow? The elastin fibers, right? We have talked about it. Yellow elastin fibers are also present. Yellow elastin fiber. What about next? Like I told you, some cells, they will be present. So, this is how I am making some cells. So, this is the mast cell and mast cell are the one which is responsible for the production of your uh, um, histamines the serotonin you remember right so granules you can see other than that you will find some macrophages you will find some macrophage macrophages are also present what about next? Yes, some basophils are also present. So, some basophil, right? Some cells, they will be having the nucleus like that of a headphone. So, that means we are talking about your eosinophil. So like this, this is just like a pool, right? This is just like a sea where everything is present. That means some mast cells, some cells, they will be present, some fibers also you can see. And other than that, you can see a ground substance, a matrix is also present. So but is here, 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 what do we have is the matrix present. What do we have is the matrix. have is the matrix. Yeah. So this is how a areolar connective tissue look like. A, that diagram which is given in the NCRT. Now once a question was asked related to this topic that one this diagram was given and you have to label it. So hope guys now you can label this. This is a very good uh, example of an areolar connective tissue. <laughs> areola. It fills the areola. So name itself indicate areolar connective tissue. So, so cells also we talked about, right? <sighs> areolar connective tissue. So, shall we proceed further? Can we move towards the further? So, we are done with the areolar connective tissue. This one, this one is done. I have given, uh, sorry, I have given you this example also. This is done, areola. Let's talk about the adipose tissue, adipose connective tissue. Now, adipose connective tissue is that connective tissue which is responsible for storing the fat. So, let's talk about the next one that is adipose connective tissue. Adipose connective 
So I'll, I'll make I'll make sure that each and every line which is given in NCRT that should be clear and if some question comes uh, related to that you should be able to give answer because you know the chap uh, this uh, whole paper uh, when we talk about this paper this paper is all about uh, the NCRT that means things comes directly from the NCRT not from anywhere clear okay. Let's talk about adipose connective tissue. So adipose connective tissues, these are what? These are the fat storing cells. Fat storing cells. Right? Adipocytes. Right? Some adipocytes. For example, your adipocytes are there. Now, how your NCT talks about one diagram, let's also make that. So here the fat is stored. Here this fat is stored. Right? And what about the nucleus? Nucleus will be present over here. These are the adipocytes. adipocytes right so let's come back to this one uh, so with this we have completed your loose connective tissue areolar and adipose right so both these things they are done hope they are very much clear to you now can we proceed further let's talk about the next one which is your another type of connective tissue which is your uh, uh, the dense connective tissue Dense. dense connective tissue so loose is done dense so in the dense connective tissue you will find the more fibers are present right here more fibers and less matrix less matrix clear whereas when we talk about these areolar connective tissue because areolar connective tissue as an is an example of a loose connective tissue loose connective tissue so this loose connective tissue has Less fibers has less fibers, it has more matrix. It has more matrix. This is how you can remember. It has less fibers and the more matrix. This is done. Let's talk about the dense connective tissue. Now, dense connective tissue, dense connective tissue, we classify the dense connective tissue in two different groups. First one we have is the dense regular connective tissue. Dense regular connective tissue. And the second one we have is dense irregular connective tissue. Dense irregular connective tissues. Now, dense regular connective tissue. So, now name itself indicate. See, making this diagram. Clear? Now, here guys you can see that fibers they are present but fibers they are very beautifully arranged. 
this is how the fibers are present see how beautifully fibers are arranged it has more fibers and fibers they are arranged in a beautiful way that means regularly they are arranged the fibers they are arranged regularly see can you see that right and yes there will be some cells also and this is how the cells are present right this is how the cells are present and yes they will be having a matrix also this is how a matrix is present so they are having matrix right we have the fibers and these fibers they are beautifully arranged that means regularly arranged they are regularly arranged it's not like they are randomly present no Re regularly arranged clear and yes some cells are also there now in the dense regular connective tissue we have two examples <coughs> And the first one is termed as tendon and second one is termed as ligaments tendons and ligaments clear now we will be talking about this but first of all let's talk about the dense irregular <coughs> so in the dense irregular so the fibers fibers they are present like this so these are the fibers and these fibers they are irregularly arranged irregularly arranged that means in not in a proper way they are arranged clear and yes they will be having the cells also and the matrix is also present which is quite less so this is a matrix and this matrix is less like that of this one this is comparatively less let's talk about now the tendons and the ligaments now what are these tendons tendons are those structures which join bone to muscles right so these are the one which joins bone to muscles right whereas ligaments are those structures which join bone to bone bone to bone right so these are the two structures that is the tendons and the ligaments so tendons are those structures which join bone to the uh, uh, muscles right this is how they are joined whereas ligaments are those which join the bone to the muscles oh, sorry bone to the bone so we divided the dense connective tissue in these categories so hope they are clear so dense regular regular you can see how regularly they are arranged how everything is so good uh, like in a beautifully manner they are arranged they will be parallel to each other that means they have a regular pattern of arrangement whereas when we talk about the second one <coughs> the dense irregular in the dense irregular another uh, the arrangement which you can see this is like this right right now here in this case matrix contain collagen fiber so matrix they just contain collagen fiber whereas here the uh, collagen as well as elastin fibers both are present let's write that also so here so matrix so they have only collagen fibers collagen fibers whereas ligaments are those which have yellow elastin more yellow elastin 
and less collagen fiber. Less collagen fiber. Here, only, only, have only collagen fibers. Clear? Tendons and ligaments are clear. Hope you are not going to do this mistake again. Right? Clear? Now, where are you going to find the dense regular connective tissue? Dense regular connective tissue you are going to find in the dermis of skin. Dermis of skin. And also the covering of bone. Covering of bones. This is how you are going to, this is where you are going to find the dense irregular connective tissue. With the, we are done. Guys, both of them, both these topics, hope they are done, right? And uh, hope you guys do not have any doubts now related to this topic. Okay, now let's proceed further. So with this, we are done uh, with uh, this, these two. This is also done, sorry. This is also done, this is also done, this is also done. Now let's talk about the specialized connective tissue. We have to talk about the cartilage as well as the bone. So let's start with specialized connective tissue. Okay. Specialized connective tissue so specialized connective tissue in this case the first i am dealing with the skeletal connective tissue skeleton connective tissue so skeletal connective tissue two things we have to study the first one is your cartilage cartilage and the second one we will be dealing that is the bone but first let's start with the cartilage and if we'll be having a space in this space itself i'll complete the bone so that you can have a comparative studies for both of them now cartilage cartilage is uh, pliable right and it is not that hard in fact they are pliable pliable structure Right, pliable structure. That means it is movable. Right, when we talk about the uh, cartilage, we say that they are comparatively movable. Like this is, like in the tip of the nose, in the septum, in the ear pinna, the stachian tube. What do we have? Is this cartilage? Cartilage present, and these cartilage they are not hard like that of bone. So here in this case also, you will find some cells are present. Now, now let's talk about the cells present in cartilage. Cells present in cartilage. Let's first talk about the cells which are present in cartilage. So in a cartilage, you will find the three type of cells. Right? So here, the matrix which is present that is termed as chondrin. Let's write that also. Matrix which is present that is termed as chondrin. Chondrin. From C cartilage, the matrix is termed as chondrin. chondrin. Here are the cells which are present. Let's name them. The first cell, we can say the chondroblast cell. Chondroblast cell. Next is chondrocytes. Third is chondroclast chondroclast cell. So, these are the three type of cells which are present. Chondrocytes cells. Okay. Clear? Yeah. Let's talk about each one of these one by one. The chondroblast. So chondroblast are what? They are immature cell. They are immature cell. Right? They are arranged in periphery. Arranged in periphery. 
like if you look at the cartilage these are the those cells which are arranged in periphery and they divide rapidly and they divide rapidly so that they can form the cartilage to form cartilage you all know when we talk about uh, a kid bone one second so we we all know so whenever we talk about a kid bone so a uh, kid's bone uh, the baby's bone they are pliable they are soft this is because they are having these cartilages cartilages later on these cartilages they are uh, they are replaced with the bones clear so immature cells arranged in the periphery the uh, see uh, uh, we have a layer the outermost layer is present right and later on the you will find the immature cells are there they are arranged in periphery they divide rapidly to form the cartilage see here let's make this diagram so that you can have a better arrangement right this is a layer outermost layer of the cartilage which is termed as the perichondrin 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 the outermost layer now these cells they are arranged like this these are the chondroblast cell they are the chondroblast cell now this is how another type of cells which is the chondrocytes are present so let's label each one of this this is your chondroblast chondroblast this is how the chondrocyte chondrocyte and they are present in lacune basically uh, buddies they help in formation of the matrix so while the formation of matrix a a lacune like structure is formed so lacune they are the empty spaces on which these chondrocytes they are present now here the another matrix is present you will find a matrix also and this matrix is termed as the chondrin so the matrix is also present and this matrix is termed as the chondrin clear lacune now <clears throat> let's talk about the chondrocyte then we will move towards this diagram so chondrocytes but these are what chondrocytes are those which are mature cells these are the mature cells they are comparatively mature and they are present towards the center they are present towards center now <coughs> they are immature cell they show the rapid division ultimately the chondroblast they form the chondrocytes clear now they come in center that means now they are present in the center and they basically makes the shape of the cartilage so cartilage is only because of see they, they form it they basically form it and later on these are the mature cells which are present so they are responsible for uh, the the overall support which they have clear so overall when we talk about the these two type of cells the chondroblast cell ch this is chondro so chondroblast and the chondrocyte both of them they are responsible for formation of cartilage so both of them they are responsible for formation and maintenance maintenance of cartilage maintenance of cartilage both of them they are responsible they form and they maintain it clear hope these points are clear let's talk further about it
let's talk about the chondrocyte so you know that initially the cartilage the bones in the babies they are pliable so that is because of this cartilages which they have later on these cartilage they are re replaced with the bone so that means what happens is the resorption of cartilage occur so that is the chondroclast they are responsible for resorption right so resorption of cartilage more uh, specifically i can say they eat cartilage cell eat what chondrocytes chondrocyte they are like a macrophages they are like a macrophages the clast cells are there so some clast cell also you will find chondroclast clear everyone these type of cells so we talked about the cartilage in the cartilage all these structures they are present and this is how these structures are present three different cells you should know that uh, they are present right and fiber you know what kind of fi fiber you are going to find over here here you will find both the type of fibers so let's write fibers also so fibers which are present over here they will be both the collagen fiber and the elastin fiber both are present so here start buddies we talked about fibers we talked about matrix and we talked about the cells also everything we have talked about so this is a typical diagram of a, a cartilage typical diagram so uh, perichondrin which is the outermost covering the chondrocyte the chondroclast etc and etc the cells are present and one thing you should remember in the lacunae you will find either one chondrocyte or sometimes more than one the two chondrocytes are also present whereas when we talk when we will be talking about the bone at the time of bone you will realize that over there only a, a, a single uh, osteocytes they are present clear 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 so some uh, fibers they are also present so let's draw the fibers also otherwise you will be confused that ma'am how these fibers they are present so very beautifully these fibers the collagen fibers they are arranged these are the fibers fibers round 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 fibers they are arranged right so with this we are done with the cartilage let's talk about the second one which is a bone let's talk about bone bone and bone is another type of specialized connective tissue clear clear buddies so here also the matrix is present here also the cells are present here also the cells which are present here the uh, some um, uh, other substances they are also present in the bone for example a protein is present which is termed as a osein protein uh, the organic and inorganic substances are present here the calcium phosphate calcium carbonate everything you are going to find over here and you all know the bone the basic structure of the bone is will be doing that the basic structure of the bone but yes first of all we have to we are da, we are left with one more topic and what is that uh, the types of cartilage let's do the type of cartilage also let's so let's do before talking about the bone let's complete the types of cartilage types of cartilage so first of all let's talk about the hyaline cartilage before talking about what actually this i would like to tell you where actually these hyaline cartilage are present in the breathing and the exchange of gases i don't know whether you have done the chapter or not in that case we have talked about the trachea so in the trachea you will find some c shaped cartilage so that c shaped cartilage is what hyaline cartilage only clear let's talk about the examples so this is found in where are you going to find this this is found in the septum of nose septum of nose and septum of ear right the larynx right the trachea 
right this hyaline cartilage is present the septum of nose that is a nose septum you will find this clear clear everyone now whereas the other cartilage the uh, uh, other cartilages are also present like the tip of nose that's another cartilage we have a uh, uh, ear pin another cartilage is present like uh, we have a stachian tube another cartilage is present now there are some cartilage which covers up the bone so that is a uh, different kind of cartilage is present clear now <clears throat> so let's talk about this uh, just a second guys so note this down then we'll proceed further right now let's proceed further now sorry uh so yes now hyaline cartilages are those cartilages when you look at these cartilages they are uh, translucent and they are having collagen fibers so they are basically translucent translucent right and they are having the type 2 collagen fibers type 2 collagen fiber they are having type 2 collagen fibers let's talk about the next one the elastin cartilage and the next one we have is the fibrous cartilage fibrous cartilage so elastin cartilage is that cartilage which is which has the elastin fibers name itself indicate elastin fibers are present like i told you here the uh, type 2 collagen fiber some collagen fibers are present which is termed as a type 2 collagen fiber in the elastin we have is a elastin fibers here are the examples the very important let's write, write examples so the septum of nose we talked about it now let's talk about the tip of the nose so this you're going to find in tip of nose the ear pinna ear pinna the stachian tube the stachian so these are some examples let's talk about the fibrous cartilage so fibrous cartilage they are very hard very 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 hard and these are those cartilage which have this collagen fibers they are having collagen fibers they are having collagen fibers fibrous cartilage collagen lots of collagen fibers they are present and they are very hard and which restrict the movement which doesn't allow the movement unlike that of your the tip of nose which is easily movable the septum of the nose which is e easily movable these are those cartilage where the restricted movement is there and this cartilage is present in the pubic symphysis so where are you going to find this example they are found in uh, pubic symphysis pubic symphysis normally it is at it is its own position but during the child birth it moves and it allows the baby to come out and similarly in the intervertebral disc intervertebral disc so in the intervertebral disc also you will find a very less kind of movement there is not a major movement very less movement is there so this is a fibrous cartilage the elastin cartilage and the first one what is that that's a hyaline cartilage clear so these are some examples where are you going to find them now let's talk about the bone yes let's talk about the bone So bone you know this is a hard structure and this is non-pliable structure that means it is so difficult to move and you know why there is a reason for it let's talk about it so in the bone you will find further three things the fiber fiber and the fiber which is present one second so we are having fibers
right and the fibers which is present the fibers which are there they are basically the collagen fiber they are basically the collagen fibers now other than this collagen fiber what are you going to find you will find a matrix is there and in the matrix you will find some organic substances organic substances so organic substances for example i told you the protein is there and that protein is termed as osine protein osine protein and mucopolysaccharide is there and some inorganic substances are also there inorganic substances so inorganic substances we have is calcium phosphate we have is calcium phosphate calcium carbonate calcium hydroxide calcium hydroxide and other substances other ions are also there out of which this is 80% more than 80% we have is a calcium phosphate this was question which was again again asked now let's talk about the fast uh, let's complete this fast uh, cells are present and the cells which are there are termed as osteo um, osteoblast cell we have is osteocyte osteocyte we have this osteoclast osteoclast just a second yeah so osteoclast see these are the further three type of cells present <clears throat> clear now let's see this is the outermost layer let's make this diagram so that you can have a better understanding here the osteoblast cell are present we are having some uh, cells arranged in lacunae one cell arranged in one lacunae we have these fibers arranged like this clear now some canals are present which are termed as haversian canal haversian canal right some canals are present in the center uh, let's make this diagram just one second i'll show you so this is how the haversian canals are present so this we label it haversian canal so like this we are having a structure like this fibers they are arranged and osteocytes are present like this osteocytes this Similarly, here also. So let's label these are the osteocytes present. Right? Now these Haversian canals are those canals which are rich in basically, basically they are good so means they are rich in the nerve supply, they are having a nerve supply, they are having a blood vessel blood vessels are also there they are having a lymph vessel also so all these things they are present so similar function like that of the osteoblast cell like that of these osteocytes the osteoclast cell just like that we have seen in case of the 
chondroblast cells. So similar things they are present over here also. Clear? So basically these are the one which are present in lacunae present in lacunae but only single lacunae that means one lacunae and one cell is there these are the macrophages which helps in the resorption of bone and osteoblast cells osteoblast cells are those cells which forms the bone which forms the bone Right. So here we have talked about a special type of canal which is the Haversian canal which is present. Right. <coughs> now one more thing, these Haversian canal they are also attached to each other by this canal which is termed as Volksmann canal. Volksmann canal. So this is how the cells they are arranged. Clear? Right. So, this is all about this thing. Now, uh, we are done with the bone and the cartilage. Come to this diagram, come to this chart. Where is the chart? Yes. So, we are done with the bone and the cartilage. Blood and lymph will be studying in the chapter body fluid and circulation. In detail, we will be discussing over there. Now, let us talk about the muscular, the types of muscles. So, muscles that is the muscular tissue. Muscular tissue. So muscular tissue that means different type of muscles we have, we are having. The first thing we have is the cardiac muscle. So cardiac muscles are those muscles which are striated, right? These are those muscles which are striated. Striations are there, right? These are those muscles which are uninucleated, right? And they are having the uh, special kind of uh, uh, structure pres present in them, right? Intercalated discs are present. They are self-excitatory. Whereas when we talk about the skeletal muscle, skeletal muscles are the one which are striated, striations are present. They are multinucleated and unbranched. Multinucleated cells, right? Skeletal muscle, they are associated with the skeletal system. Cardiac muscles are those which are associated with the cardiac. That means we are talking about the heart. The smooth muscles, they are associated with our viscera. And these are those which are spindle shaped which are spindle shaped, right? These are those which are non-striated. Can you see a striation, right? No. So non-striated muscles they are. And in fact, uh, they are also uninucleated. So detail about these. So they basically surround the viscera and they are not under our control. They are involuntary. Whereas these two, you can say the first one, the second one, they are voluntary in nature. Sorry. Both of them, this is also uh, uh, your involuntary, that is also involuntary, this is your voluntary muscle. So this is involuntary. The, this is the skeletal muscle we have as voluntary muscles. This is also the smooth muscle is also involuntary. So detail we will be discussing in the chapter locomotion and movement, how these muscles they look like. Clear? And the nervous we will be discussing in the chapter that is the control and coordination. So let's wind up the chapter over here. So with this, let's wind up. Now what you have to do is go through the NCRT. Whatever examples which are there, you have to do that, guys. Okay, so let's wind up over here. See you in the next class. Till then, take your take care of yourself and uh, keep studying. Keep yourself safe in this time. Bye-bye everyone. Thank you so much students for watching this.